Hi everyone, this is L.A. Ross. Welcome to another edition of The Raps Drinking with the Stars here at Riviera 31 at the Sofitel Hotel in Los Angeles. I'm here with the cast of NBC's Night Shift. Um, we are enjoying some tequila. First of all, just tell me what it's like for you guys to work together. Uh, you seem to have a, a very convivial relationship. Um, you seem happy to see each other when we all, when we all met earlier today. So mm -hmm. just kind of as an icebreaker, tell me what it's like to work together. It's wonderful working Awful. together. <laughs> it's and I, oh, I know, no, no, Freddie and Adam. I know you guys. You guys go way back. Yeah, we go way back. Oh we yeah, oh old yeah. Friends. At yeah. least uh, 17 years, maybe. <laughs> yeah. I've known Adam. Uh, Don't and date us, Fred. Don't date us. <laughs> I was just about to say, right? We were very young. <laughs> when we were about two. School, when we were high about school. two. Yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, Gene Ann uh, met on the show, but um, it's, 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 uh, thank you for saying that because uh, I feel like the cast does have a great relationship. Our creators, Jeff and Gabe, uh, are probably uh, some of the most non-Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood uh, show creators you'll ever meet, you know, and I always find that the, uh, uh, it starts from the top and it trickles down, and, and I feel like they've hired people that are like them, that are... Uh, sort of on the same vibe and uh, it's sort of like this magical yeah. blind date kind of experience on the pilot where you just sort of set up nine people and none of us knew we were gonna love each other as much as we do and okay. and get on each other's nerves in the best way possible like nice. we're like siblings yeah and then yeah. They, they kept adding in people like Adam you know well yeah and we're all like what a terrible fit this guy oh, is such a douchebag oh, <laughs> Adam you this is your first season this second season of, of uh, Night Shift and this is your first season you yeah. kind of come on yeah. you're the new very zen kind of um, yes. uh, surgeon. So tell me what it's been like to kind of come on to the show and um, and just, you know, tell me a little bit about your role and kind of what you bring to the team. Well, you know, like Freddie said, I mean, it is, it really does start from the top and work its way down when you get a group of people like that, that, uh, that are in control of putting together the rest of the unit that's going to make up the show. And, you know, they're sort of selecting from people that resonate with them. And like, you do end up having the kind of work experience that we've had. It's been, it's been awesome. I mean, uh, so Freddie, you, your character ha undergoes kind of a really big change and, um, yeah, it's after the, it's after the finale or after the premiere. So we can spoil it. Yeah. He decides to quit his job, starts over from the beginning. Mm -hmm. He's got the med school. So he, um, he's starting over as a physician's assistant. Yes. Um, what, and you know, approaching it as a role, it's a pretty different role. How, what has that been like for you? It's, you know, it's been a big change for me actually, you know, uh, uh, starting off as a, a very particular type of character, but then still having to maintain the essence of that character, but be completely different has been uh, challenging. And, uh, but, but I thought the idea was, was cool from the beginning. Jeff and Gabe, the creators, pitched the idea to me about a guy starting over at a, at a later age in life and what that would be like, especially someone who uh, was in a position of power and then all of a sudden he's sort of demoted to an underling to these people that he had power over and now he is uh, at the bottom of the totem pole. So there's a, a romance that's kind of kindling between you're yeah, too the hardest. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you know, I was gonna say with a guy with this face, you know, it's, it's got to be tough. Yeah, the hair so, smells much worse than you yeah, could you ever know? imagine. <laughs> but it does. Trust it's, me. It's kind of an interesting, and and this is always, you know, very interesting on your show in particular because you guys share close quarters. Mm -hmm. It's it's the graveyard shift. Um, so that you know, there's all the love, you know, the love triangles and everything. Not so always, different from real life. From all not, the research I've done. Not you know? different from real life. Not different from. Newsrooms, <laughs> anywhere Any, people anywhere work wild people hours work. in close quarters. So. Exactly. Um, so, t just tell me a little bit about how you kind of uh, approach playing the affections. Well, this is the thing. It's like Krista. Krista is somebody who, and like this is again a common story for anyone who's excelled in one area their whole life. She hasn't had a tremendous amount of time to focus on what a developing a healthy relationship would look like or what good communication always looks like or how good coping mechanisms per se. Like all of her life has been focused on you know, being like an exceptional student, an exceptional scientist, an exceptional, you know, caregiver, these kinds of things. Um, and, and, and she's like approached it all with such 150% that there's some areas of her life that kind of got left aside. And so what's great about the dynamic between Krista and Joey isn't just that there's a budding uh, like sort of romance, but that that romance is born out of uh, her searching for mentorship in an area that, that she doesn't even understand quite how she needs to grow. So it's that she knows she needs answers to something. She has problem, you know, it's just, um, 
gets attached to patients, takes loss very, very hard, and she understands that there has to be like longevity in her career, that she desperately, more than anything, wants to be a good doctor. And so that's, the, that's what's fun. It's like, she's so focused on being a good doctor, but then there's distractions romantically. But then on top of that, she happens to meet someone that she would never know was actually a like-minded person who's further along the same path. I would think he was a completely different animal than me. But as the show goes on, Krista discovers that he understands things, that she understands things that they share that maybe she would have never have guessed before. And that becomes an incredibly important dynamic, is just growth, you know? Thank you guys so much for sharing with me um, and sharing with the rap audience today. Yeah. Uh, let us know, when can our audience catch The Night Shift? Uh, the Night Shift is on NBC, uh, uh, 10-9 Central, Monday nights, after The Voice.